Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is your teacher name from Multimedia English Lab. Today we have a new special lesson. I hope that you are going to enjoy it. So let's start. Of course, today we're going to talk about means of transport. So first, let's name a few means of transport. We have van, car, ambulance, a helicopter or chopper, bike or bicycle, bus, coach, train, motorbike or motorcycle, tram, rocket, hot air balloon, boat, submarine, fire engine, tractor, underground or subway, taxi, ship and a plane or aeroplane okay on your books page 94 you have this matching exercise you can pause the video and do it on your books or your notebooks so first we have a boat next it's a bus bus next one it's a motorcycle motorcycle next one it's a car car next one it's a taxi taxi and the last one it's a train train maybe it's a bullet train next we're going to do some history here okay Egyptian were the first to made boats 4,000 years before Christ followed by the Greeks, the Romans and the Vikings Baron von Deris made the first bikes in 1817 it was made of wood and has no pedals the first trains appeared in 1840s in England and Carl Friedrich Beans from Germany made the first cars in 18. 85. Soon after that, Gottlieb Daimler designed the first motorbikes and the first bus appeared in 1895. Of course, the first plane flight in 18 in 1903, sorry, made by the Brothers Wright. On page 94, we have this special question which means of transport do we use to travel by air, sea, rail or road we are going to limit it just on land, air, water, land or road okay we have more examples here we have a truck or lorry, pickup, caravan and the Sahara ship camel on air we have plane, hang glider, UFO and parachutes and identified flying objects. Of course, if you want to go to Mars or other planets, you need this special means of transport. For water, we have a kayak. This is a kind of sport. We have a canoe, we have a hovercraft and you have a sailboat. Maybe the one that Christopher Columbus used to go to discover America now if you want to describe means of transport you need special adjectives for size you have heavy light big small tiny means very small giant and wide of course for the shape we can see round square straight oval flat triangular and for color of course, we can see red, orange, black, yellow, yellowish, maybe, blue, and dark. And for speed, we can see fast, slow, swift, rapid, snappy, snail-like, tortoise-like. On page 94, your books, you have these... Uh, special adjective to describe means of transport so you can see comfortable and comfortable economical and economical safe and safe fast slow here we're talking about speed expensive and cheap when it comes to 
consumption maybe of gasoline or money any more questions yes on page 93 we have this matching exercise question number one how does Layla travel to Wajda on the right side we have the answers by train Layla travels to Wajda by train next question why do you prefer the plane here we are talking about the reason mm, so because it's fast yes next question when are they traveling you are talking about the time yeah tomorrow morning and the last one how often does she take the bus here we're talking about frequency adverbs sometimes often of course with o not with a good let's move on page 19 we have these nicely tailored dialogues so let's do some communication the first dialogue between olivia and leila do you like traveling anna oh yes i do how do you usually travel here we're talking about means of transport and anna says by train it's more comfortable how about your brother eric and uh, he prefers traveling by car okay on dialogue number three here we have the question which do you prefer going on foot or taking the bus and the rx is walking so we can see go on foot or we can see walk okay on the same next page we have this uh, true or false question or exercise oh right true or false then correct the false information number one anna usually travels by train number two anna's brother likes traveling by train and number three ali likes traveling by plane number four eric always comes to school on foot and number five eric prefers walking to taking the bus you can pause the video and do it in your notebooks okay are you done so let's start number one it's true yes anna usually travels by train number two it's false Anna's brother likes traveling by car, not by train. He likes traveling by car. Number three, false. He dislikes traveling by plane. Ali dislikes traveling by plane. He doesn't like it. Okay, number four, of course, it's false. Eric often comes to school on foot. It's not always. And number five, it's true. Eric prefers going on foot to taking the bus. Okay, next question. What is your favorite means of transport and why? I have found the, the nets these few answers and I want to share it with you. Thank you, guy, you made it. Okay, for example... We often travel on bikes. It's friendly to nature and healthy. A little bit uh, slow, but cheap. Okay, number two. We sometimes fly when we go on a holiday. It is very fast, but expensive. You can get on, get food and drink. And sometimes you can even watch a film. My car is my car. It's slow, but it perseveres. It's, it is perfect for the desert because it doesn't have to drink too much so we call it the sahara ship it's perfect the last one i like trains very much they're comfortable and relatively cheap and fast i can walk sleep or read even eat and there, there are bathrooms also yeah cool on page 96 
we have uh, many projects. So I have tailored this uh, short text for you just as a model you can uh, do your own so my favorite means of transport is the bike when i ride my bike i can stop wherever and wherever i want i can also do physical exercise so it's good for my health when i go to school i usually take the school bus because i like to meet my friends and it is it's comfortable at weekends, I usually travel by car with my family. We can admire the beautiful landscapes out of the window, and we can stop for a break when we want. In summer holidays, we often travel by plane. It's more comfortable and bus. So, what are you going to do in Pierce? Write about how you go to school, to the center of your city, town, village and how you travel on holidays give reasons of course you are not going to work on peers due to the confinement circumstances you are going to work individually of course you are going to use photographs pictures or drawings in your many projects then you can send it to me and i will check it now we have a nice poem i remember from my first year book it's steps to English. It's called Row Your Boats. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Of course, I apologize for my voice anyway. I say, tell me how you travel and I tell you who you are. Really? What did you say? Of course, we have many people choose to travel different, using different means of transport. Someone want to drive convertible cars, others using the motorcycles, others on foot. So everyone has a special taste. Okay, I think this is the end, guys. See you next time and uh, have a nice weekend. Goodbye.